Yes, people, welcome back to Never a Foul. We're here, we're live, and we're talking about Liverpool, Arna Slot, and the way he has transformed Liverpool. Obviously, I'm doing this video after the 3 0 loss, as you can see the shirt behind me, but I'm a football fan first. And, you know, I've just got to put respect on this guy's name because he's come in to a big boy club, you know, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United. You know, the, the big three, you could say, historic-wise. And you look at it, right, and it's a pressure job. He's coming in after Jurgen Klopp. He had many successful seasons there. You know, whether people say he won the league only once, obviously, I understand that. But he had them there competing. They could have won it three times if it weren't for a majestic Manchester City. You know, Klopp won the Champions League. He won the Carabao. He won everything he could possibly basically win there at that football club. And there's pressure, just like when David Moyes came into the job after Sir Alex Ferguson and he crumbled under it. One of the worst managers I've ever seen. But Slot, not much has been said in the media. Not much has been said about Liverpool. They are just delivering, delivering, delivering. And the reason I said that three times is because they've only played three Premier League games. But they've beaten Ipswich away from home. First start, you know, first half was always going to be tricky playing a newly promoted side. But then the experience showed you know, in the second half, Mohamed Salah, Diogo Jota, getting, getting big goals in big moments when they needed it. And that took them over to Anfield. And, you know, they played a Brentford team that no one really expected Brentford to get a result. But it was going to be more, what would be the manner that Liverpool would deal with Brentford? Now, look, if you want to talk about bright sparks of Brentford, it was Keen Lewis Potter, you know, had a few moments against Trent Alexander-Arnold. But Mbwemo was quiet. A lot of players are quiet. And I think the, the big thing for me is that, you know, Liverpool took a 2-0 lead and they controlled the game. It wasn't helter-skelter. They kept the ball. They passed the move slowly. They picked their moments. And I think it's such a control Liverpool we're seeing at the moment that I have to applaud it because it followed on into the game against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Potentially one of the biggest games in European football in the Premier League. And bar 15, 20 minutes where... Let's be real, I'm a Man United fan, but any team you play in the Premier League away from home, you expect them to have moments, to have spells, to have chances. It doesn't matter if you're playing a Fulham, Man United, Brentford, Southampton. It's just going to happen. It's football, right? But the truth is, at the end of the day, is that they came to Manchester United and done a job. They made it not feel like Manchester United, Liverpool. I sat there watching that in the second half, right? And I was like, raw, this is actually Man United Liverpool. Like the atmosphere was dim. You know, the fans weren't going. You know, the players, the body language of Man United. Liverpool sucked that out of us. They sucked it out of us. Oh, purely, that simple as that. You know, there wasn't no, there was no going for Man United. We had a couple chances with Xerxes. That was it in the second half. But Liverpool came there and again showed control, kept the ball well, picked the right moments, went to trans trans form their attack. And, and that is why I'm saying that Slot has transformed Liverpool. Look, they've gone now to a team that wants to control the ball better. They want to, you know, retain possession. And Curtis Jones said it, you know, first couple of weeks into pre-season. No disrespect to Klopp, but I'm enjoying what Slot has brought in because we're getting more time on the ball. He's, his focus is, you know, possession. He wants to pen teams back more. He wants to have more control of the game. And I think Liverpool fans are loving it. Like, if you guys are watching right now, like, like, and subscribe and get your comments in. But this is refreshing, man. I wish I had this. A lot of teams probably wish they had that. Probably Chelsea under Poch last season. Because when a new manager comes in, you always have that sort of excitement, that buzz, because you're like, it's new. Is he going to get more out of this player? Is he going to sell? Or is he going to buy this player? And Slot's come in and he's kept the squad the same, you know? He's put, he's put Ryan Gravenberg in a number six role and everyone was thinking, how's that going to work out? He can now rotate between the six and the eight with McAllister. They sort of give and go of each other. But it's working perfectly because Liverpool, for me, you know, Wijnaldum used to pop up in great areas, but I don't think they've really had that, like, proper, proper ball carrier in there. Now you've got Sabozai that can ball carry. Now you've got Gravenberg that can play on the half turn and ball carry. He was brilliant against Manchester United. And I think he's been one of the... Bright sparks for Liverpool from one of the players that, you know, was quiet last season, has never had a fair run in the starting eleven. But Slot said, yo, you're a Dutchman like me. I believe in you and I want to get the best out of you. Because he was playing at Ajax and he was a height, he was a big talent. 
Went to went to Bayern Munich, didn't quite work out. But does that mean you're a bad player? No, it doesn't. Gravenberg is one of them players that slightly reminds me of Paul Pogba. Now, don't say, oh my God, Paul Pogba, because obviously Paul Pogba's ceiling was really high. But when you look at the, the technical qualities of Gravenberg, the way he does twist and turn on a half turn and then gallops with it over, you know, 12 to 15 yards, he literally can take Liverpool from one half of the pitch to the other. And that is big for any football inside. It can literally change you from defence to attack in a split moment. And he'd done it against Manchester United a few times. And I just think that's a key weapon that is going to help Liverpool over the season, whether it's Europe, whether it's the Premier League. And I think he will continue to play him there in the midfield. I think him and McAllister are building up a good partnership already. And, and then you've got Sabozlai that, you know, is playing more in an advanced role, whether it's the left channel or the right channel linking up with Salah. Them two have got a combination going on. And it's looking threatening, you know? So what I'm seeing from Slot at the moment is He's sticking with a strong 11. He's put Ryan Gravenberg in. He's getting the best out of Sobers like at the moment. Everything's ticking along. There's no crosses. There's no arrows that I can fire at him right now because even when you look at someone like Mohamed Salah, now, whether it's Mohamed Salah's last season or not, this guy delivers year upon year upon year. But he's had the summer off and he looks fresh. He looks recharged. He looks ready. And he's playing. Like, a, he's got a chip on his shoulder. He'd done an interview after the game against United and said, look, I got the two assists, but I went in at halftime thinking I need to score. I want the team to win, but I also want to score. He wants to score, he wants to create, and he wants the team to win. Everything you want in a proper attacker. And Salah got his goal. And, you know, he started the season great. He looked fresh. And when you've got a player like that in your attack that you know is going to deliver consistently, it allows the others to just play with the groove it allows them to play in the motion because you know you've got a player that can sort of dig you out of holes when you need to, but also you know that he's going to pop up with big moments. And whether that's creating, like he did for Diaz, or whether it's scoring, Salah will do that. And I think him and Sabozla at the moment, the way they're linking up on that sort of right channel, I think it's really good. I think it's exciting. I think it's going to confuse teams because the big thing for me with, with Liverpool and their attack at the moment, once they get over the halfway line, is the speed of their passing. I think Liverpool's speed of passing in the second half of the pitch is brilliant at the moment. Considering the slot's been there three games, by the way, and he's changing them from Klopp's style to his style. The way they sort of make the, the attackers press their defence and they punch it into midfield. But when they get into the other half of the pitch, the combination, whether it's Diaz, Sabozlai, Jota, Salah, whoever it is, the speed of the passing is so quick. It's confusing teams. Against Brentford, they nearly scored a brilliant team goal. Against Manchester United, you know, on the attack, in the transition, boom, 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 goal or a chance. I think it's a, such a, a, a good weapon. And Slot is using it perfectly with the type of players that he needs. And one thing I like about him already is that he's not changing the starting eleven. He's allowing them to now build consistency with that speed of passing, which means better combinations, better runs, and better frequency, should I say. They all know where each other's going to be. And it's showing already. So I can't really, you know, from a, from a, from a neutral standpoint, criticise Sot at the moment. You know, you two of two teams in the Premier League, Man City and Liverpool, the only teams that won three of their Premier League games so far. And I'm not saying that, look, we didn't expect Liverpool to beat Ipswich, to beat Brentford, and potentially go and beat Man United because we know, obviously, the situation with our club at the moment. But I think it's the way... They've beat those teams. Let's be real. Guys, they've kept three clean sheets as well. Like, let's not even disrespect the defence. Trent Alexander-Arnold. And, you know, Robertson, who I think he's regressing, but he's playing consistently seven out of ten at the moment. Then you've got Van Dijk, who's the leader, the experienced man at the back, with Alisson, the best keeper in the world. And then you've got Kanata, who's coming for Konsa. But at the moment, Kanata's like, yo, you can't take me out of this team. You can't take me out of this eleven Because he's delivering. So the way he's got them playing from back to front, defence keeping clean sheets, keep a solid, and then you've got the midfield, Graven Burton, McAllister, Sabozlai, complement each other well, technical brilliance, also ball carrying and running and energy. It's dynamic, it's athletic, and then you've got the front three. You know, Jota, people are saying, you know, can, can you keep him fit? At the moment he is, and he's contributing well. Even the intelligence, the small details, the point, and say, yo, Salah, chip it back post. Diaz 1-0. There you go. There's your Sunday roast. 
then I'll chuck you dessert in later. Do you know what I mean? And so when you look at it, Luis Diaz, a player, the some Liverpool fans wanted to, to see go. That's what interests me a lot, actually, with Luis Diaz. A lot of Liverpool fans wanted to see him leave, potentially Anthony Gordon coming in. Diaz, that South American demon, he has said, no, I'm an important player for this team and I'm going to show you just like I did when I arrived from FC Porto. And Arna sort of believed in him. He said he's an important player. And right now, Diaz is flying. He's creating, he's scoring, he's taking on his man. He's retaining the ball very well as well if he don't take on his man. I can't fault anything that he's doing at the moment. And they're all staying fit. He's taking players off when needed. But I, I'm, I'm really glad for Diaz because I like him as a player anyway. I think he's technically good. I think he can score goals and he can create. He's everything you kind of want in that modern winger. And he works hard. And, and I'm really glad to see him nail down this left wing spot at the moment because he's had a hard time, obviously, with the family situations and stuff like that. He's living abroad. And he's just got his head down and said, look, I want to show to you on a slot that I can be a key part of this team. And right now, he is doing just that. So what next for Liverpool? I think the two interesting parts are the transfer windows coming up. Now Liverpool are going to a different style of play. We saw them try and go for Zubimendi in the summer. Didn't quite get Zubimendi. But if I was a Liverpool fan despite the window being quiet over the summer, for future windows, it excites me. Because you might say Zubamende, you know, arrive next year. You might see him arrive. If not, you know the type of players that, you know, Arna Slot's looking at. Because that's a proper talented footballer there. You know, someone that can pass through the lines. Spanish. You know what you're getting. It's on the tin. It's like beans and toast. Ready-made meal. And then you look at, you know, positions in attack, positions in defence. They might need a centre-back. They might need a full-back next summer. But I believe in Arna Slot in terms of, because he's not the biggest name as a manager, he'll probably have good talent ID working with Richard Hughes and, you know, the board level. And they'll be un identifying clever targets, targets that improve Liverpool, targets that won't have egos, targets that are happy to compete on all fronts, but sometimes start, sometimes be out of the eleven. But they all add quality. It's not like when one player drops off, you know, the, the person coming in doesn't hold that same quality. And that's what I think Liverpool are going to be very interesting to look at in the coming transfer windows. What direction are they going to head in? Because you can see the football they're trying to play. And I believe you're going to get the right players for the right style. And that's clear. That's what you want from the board level down to the manager, down to the youth level and the players coming through and the signings arriving. You want it all aligned. You want people to walk through that front door and they know what they're smelling. Whether it's Dior Savage, whether it's Lynx Africa, they're all smelling the same thing. And how far can Liverpool go? It's, it's early to say. It's early to say. But I definitely see them finishing in the top three in the Premier League. 100%. I feel like the, the experience of Alisson, Trent, Salah, Van Dijk and even McAllister now being a World Cup winner as well. I think, you know, they've got that solidness, you know, Robertson in there. You know, you've got their experience. You've got people that are going to consistently deliver the seven, eights and nines out of tens. And then you've got the Diaz, Jotters, Gravenbergs, you know, Canate. Those type of players playing with a point to prove because there's people waiting to take their positions. So you've got the perfect blend. Experience, consistency with hunger. You know, people determined to keep their spot. And I think they'll go through into Europe and I think they definitely reach the quarters of the Champions League because they can get goals. It's simple as that. And at the moment, they're keeping clean sheets. I think Liverpool won a trophy this season. I think if Slot can get a trophy, finish top three in the league, that's a good season. And when I say trophy, I think he'd won an FA Cup, ideally, or a Champions League. But, you know, if he gets a trophy, delivers consistency in the league and gives him a far run in the Champions League, it's a successful start for his life at, at Liverpool because there's a clear pattern of play at the moment. There's a clear style. And that's something over time you can build consistency with. So when I look at it, Liverpool, you're a changing football club. You're a club that, you know, are exciting to watch. I'll be real. And I think you fans should be, you know, living in it, enjoying it, because you don't know what's to come. You don't know what's going to happen in your season. And I think that's kind of exciting. You know you're going to get wins, but how far can you really go? Let me know in the comments. But when I look at Liverpool, Arna Slot and what he's doing, I think it is really, really good at the moment. That you know, the control and possession, the patience in the build-up, the speed of the passing when they decide to inject it, 
tick, tick, tick. Never a foul. Make sure you subscribe. I'm out.